as you witnessed it on the sideline? Uh, you know, yeah, we, we weren't necessarily expecting that. Um, but uh, defensively, uh, that clearly set the tone uh, that quarter. Um, I thought the guys were uh, pretty active uh, and, and making it tough. And then, it, you know, it always becomes make or miss. They also missed some, and some of them were open that they missed. Uh, and then on the other end, um, just a continuation of what we saw in San Antonio. The ball was really moving. It was finding the open guy. Uh, guys didn't really care, you know, necessarily who was shooting. It was just as long as the guy was open uh, and working together, you know, to move uh, their bodies and the ball, you know, to find that open guy. That that was uh, inspiring to see. The way Bam is able to fight through frustration he might feel from a three for 13 first half to contribute in so many ways. It shows the maturity we've seen in his game. Yeah. You know, he really made some nice plays in that third quarter on both ends of the court. You know, uh, they're a very uh, difficult team to, to defend. You know, they play w with incredible pace. Uh, they really do a good job of moving the ball and driving it. Uh, so they put pressure on your second line of, of defense. Uh, so you need guys that can contain the ball uh, and Bam, you know, really uh, helps in, in that regard. Uh, and then, you know, he was just uh, finding the ball in the middle of the paint uh, and making the appropriate plays, uh, you know, whether he's playmaking, find the open uh, shooter or, you know, getting all the way to, to the basket. One other thing for me, just Lowry, the calming effect you've talked about, two consecutive uh, third quarters yeah. where you all play well collectively. That's phenomenal. Um, uh you know, probably the only people that really, really, truly understand are, are people on the sideline. Uh, and uh, you hear that expression all the time, uh, like having an extension of a, a coach on the floor is the epitome of that. You know, he just – he can control the game uh, and control the pace, get the ball where it needs to go, make the appropriate calls, uh, feel the tenor of the game and what, what's needed whether that's uh, knocking down a big shot or just playmaking. Uh, and that's from years and years of experience of, of doing it at an extremely high level. How much do games like this help where you know, you're able to rotate some more guys in, you know, get out to that big lead early or in the third quarter and kind of just rotate some more guys in and get some players some rest? Yeah, we're not even thinking about that, you know, right now. Uh, we're just going to forge ahead. Uh, we'll rest during all-star break. Um, you know, it's nice to be able to play those guys. Uh, our depth is, is something we think is a strength, um, so we want to utilize it. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'm sure it was, it was good for Jimmy and uh, PJ, you know, to play a few a few less minutes tonight. How much progress, you know, this game to game that you've seen from Kyle, you know, a little bit more tonight, uh, but certainly a little bit better tonight than he did in San Antonio. Yeah, I, it's not even something I'm thinking about at all, you know. It, He'll he figures it out always. That's what he does. Uh, um, and regardless, uh, I didn't even look at the stat line. I, I never do with him. It, it, it's the effect that the magnifying effect, uh, multiplying effect that he has on everybody else. And that's part of you know, his greatness. Alex. I will take one from Zoom. Cooper, go ahead. So uh, maybe you touched about on it a little bit with, with what you were saying about Kyle, but the two of 16 from three in the first half, the offense wasn't really looking pretty. A lot of teams find themselves down 10, 15, whatever, with that kind of an offensive half. What separates this team from maybe others you've had and their ability to keep themselves in the conversation, hang around despite the offense not really flowing perfectly? Yeah, we have a lot of uh, really competitive veteran players uh, that know how to, to work a game. Uh, so they're not, um, you know, getting sick at sea, you know, over a 8 0 run from another opponent. They understand that games are long and you have to, you know, really work the, the game and, and try to get control of the game. Um, and we have a few of those guys that understand that. It's really hard for young players coming in uh, to really understand that because you hear so much stuff about how many points do you score, you know, all the stats that everybody wants to, to celebrate. We have, you know, some old school veterans that uh, don't even really care about that. It's, it's about competing and working the game, getting control of the game, uh, doing it on both ends of the court. Uh, you know, I thought our, our shots in the first half were, were pretty good. 
you know, we had a lot of open looks and some of those threes that we made in that third quarter, we had those kind of looks in the, in the second quarter. We just missed them. Um, and our defense was pretty solid in the first half. We just needed to, to take it to another level. And fortunately, we were able to do that uh, in the third quarter and we were able to knock down some shots uh, as well.